hi guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is lauren welcome 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 so in today's video i'll be talking about how i dry brush my legs for 30 days and the results that i got i will show you the results that i got i will show you the techniques that i use and all that good stuff so let's get into the video so i began dry brushing my legs because summer was approaching i knew that i was going to be in a bathing suit more i knew my legs were going to be seen in shorts instead of leggings or jeans or pants or anything like that so the main reason why i started dry brushing my body was because of my legs on the back of my legs i noticed that i was they were kind of bumpy and they had texture on the back so i was researching non-stop ways to try and get rid of that and i came across dry brushing so uh the main reason why i started dry brushing was for the texture on the back of my legs and to get overall smooth legs i just it was my goal because i live in florida and i love the look and the feel of smooth moisturized legs i mean who doesn't so my main goal wasn't cellulite reduction but i've heard many good things about dry brushing for the reduction of cellulite and i did notice a difference in the cellulite that i did have the cellulite on the back of my legs isn't a huge concern to me i don't have a lot of it it doesn't bother me it's never really bothered me at all um it's just there i'm not gonna stress about the little bit of cellulite that i have on the back of my legs love your body for what it is love who you are love the way you look and that's all that matters but i did see a little bit of a reduction in cellulite but that wasn't my main concern so it didn't really matter to me but i did um video the beginning of what my legs looked like on day one of dry brushing and then i just did the last day um my 30th day of dry brushing as well and it's a little it, you can see a difference i can feel a difference the texture on the back of my legs is completely gone my legs are very smooth i feel like they're more moisturized definitely exfoliated so i noticed that dry brushing every single day during the week in between my tans actually helped me exfoliate my tan off and prep my skin for a new tan without all the hassle and stress of trying to scrub off your tan that day of it kind of just keeps your skin exfoliated throughout the week in between tans and i noticed that my tan looked better as well so the benefits of dry brushing are lymphatic support which is lymphatic drainage helps to detoxify the body i've talked about lymphatic drainage for my face i use a jade roller and i use a gaucho stone it helps with exfoliation and overall smoothness i definitely noticed that right off the bat i think even just after one use i noticed that my skin was smoother and then the reduction of cellulite i know if you keep doing this and putting dry brushing into your normal routine i bet you could see just the overall difference in cellulite over the course of a longer period of time i don't know if 30 days would have been enough um I didn't notice a huge difference in the cellulite but i also didn't have a lot of cellulite to begin with or it definitely can be different between from person to person depending on your body and the amount of cellulite you have and how consistent you are with it and how long you are dry brushing your body so it definitely can be different for everyone your results but smoothness I think it's a guarantee because I definitely have noticed overall smoothness. I mean, my legs are so smooth and the bumps are completely gone. And that was my main goal. Yeah, so I'm going to talk about how I dry brush my legs specifically. So it's just going to be my legs. I'm just going to insert a clip about how I dry brush my, my legs. Or it's a general idea of how I do it. So I start at actually my ankles i don't include my feet i just didn't like the feeling of the dry brush personally on my feet i started on my ankle and then i moved up 
my legs in long strokes, always brushing upward towards your heart. And then I repeated the same process with my arms. I focused a lot on the back of my legs because that was my main concern. So I would tend to brush more over that area than other areas on my body. When I first started dry brushing, I couldn't really do it for that long because it felt really weird on my skin and it made me kind of um, nauseous. I don't know, it's probably just who I am as a person, but the feeling of the dry brush, it took some time to get used to. It just felt weird and I was just like weirded out by the whole thing and I mean you're brushing a thick hard bristles on to your body and it just I don't know it kind of grossed me out so like after a few times i got used to it but never use a lot of pressure um if you notice that your skin is really red then i would reduce the pressure or reduce the amount of times you do the dry brushing throughout the week so i would start off with like every other day maybe my skin reacted fine i don't really have that sensitive of skin so my skin reacted fine to everyday use but obviously do what is best for you and your skin. Don't go crazy with it if you're getting a reaction to it. Don't do it too much if your skin is just turning bright red and being becoming really irritated. I'm gonna show you the type of dry brush that I use. This is the Eco Tools one. I think this was $4.99 from Target. Super cheap. I wash it um, once a week because I use it every day. So what I do is I fill up a bowl of water and I put the brush face down in the bowl of water. I make sure it doesn't touch the wood, it just is like on the bristles. And then I put tea tree oil in it and then non-drying dish soap. And then I just move the brush around in it for about a minute. And then I remove the brush and then I refill up the bowl with just plain water and then I move it around again and let it lay out to dry. So. That's how I clean it. Make sure you clean it once a week because you are removing dead skin cells and dirt and oil and all this stuff is just sitting on the brush. So make sure you are cleaning the brush regularly if you are doing this every day. After, <laughs> after I dry brush, I moisturize heavily. Um, sometimes I would use oils like an almond oil. Um, I started using the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream as well. Focused more on my legs because I did want to see if it kind of had that tightening feature it claims to. I don't know if this was helping at all in the process, but I also use my handy dandy Lubriderm. This is my tried and true body lotion. I've been using this for I don't know how long. I just like it because it um, it's non-greasy, dries really fast, keeps my skin moisturized and it works and it's not expensive. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm gonna show you my results from dry brushing um, so it's gonna start at the first day and then I have like a 15 day mark and then it's gonna go into the last day of dry brushing I think I'm gonna continue this into my normal routine maybe a few times a week two to three times I don't need to do it every day but uh, definitely helps with exfoliation and smoothness um, I really like my results after 30 days so I don't know how so I wonder what my results would be like after two months or three months or continuing this into my normal routine. If I could have smooth legs year round, <laughs> cheers to that. Um, I feel like it also helps prep your body for moisturizer. So that's really good in the winter months. I mean, we are approaching spring and summer, so <laughs> it's good both ways. But I really have enjoyed trying this out and um, I've never dry brushed before, so it's definitely a new experience and I love trying new beauty things or ways to keep your skin looking nice and good year round. So I, yeah, I really liked my results. So without further ado, let me show you my results from dry brushing.
So, um, yeah, that was my results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have tried dry brushing before or if you're about to go out and <laughs> try it for yourself. I will link the dry brush that I use down below, so check the down bar. And yeah, let me know your dry brushing success stories. I would love to hear them. And I would love to hear how dry brushing has worked for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.